Okay, everyone, I'm going to right now roll out my other dough that I've made. Um, both of the doughs that I've made are just a one multiple of the recipe that I've shared with you. Uh, I know I told some of you that you can multiply it by one and a half if you feel more comfortable just to have more dough to work with, but I just want you to know that. And now I'm going to roll it out and put it in a different type of um, pie pan. Uh, most of you might be using something like this. Um, that You can make a pie in this as well. For me, this is better suited for a quiche or maybe an apple pie because it's um, deeper and you don't want to have too much lemon curd over there because you want to have uh, a good balance between crust, lemon curd, and meringue. Um, so I like the rings that I've showed you in my previous videos, or uh, I'm going to use this now because I just remembered I have this. And this is kind of like um, uh, rubber here, and this is a glass underneath here. And I think it will be nice because then I'll be able to show you the bottom of it as well. So that's this. I'm gonna put this aside. If you already have this right now, that's fine. Um, and you know that's what we have, so we're gonna work with, but you can expect the results to be a little bit different. Maybe you, you don't, because you don't wanna have your crust too high over here and then half of it uh, being curd but you know, we're gonna make it work for now. Anyway, we're learning more about the method. It, whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be delicious anyway. And then um, when you make this next time, you can uh, maybe get the kind of tart pan or ring that you're comfortable with. Uh, so actually before uh, I'm gonna pull it out of my fridge, I'm gonna flour my surface. I already have my rolling pin here and my knife. All right, so um, this one is 28 centimeters. Um, and I'm gonna take out my dough from the fridge now. Here it is, the one we've made into a disc earlier with all the nice little Butter freckles. Yes, I think I'm gonna call them that, butter freckles. I like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna leave my flower box actually open. Oh, and the one thing I didn't do that I am going to do now uh, with you is just to take a little bit of butter and just smear it around here just a little bit. All right, put this aside. Okay, so my dough is really cold. I think it's been a couple hours. Just gonna really gently, I don't wanna do it too hard because I don't wanna create any dents like this in here, okay? So we just did that to show you, but definitely don't wanna be doing that. I keep moving it around. So I know that the bottom always dusted. You remember if it starts to rip a little bit, I'm just gonna push it all together. And as I'm rolling it, it also warms up a little bit. And it's becoming more and more flexible.
this butter in here is looking so good. I'm so excited. Sometimes I really uh, have chunks that are a little bit too big in there and that's not good, but now it's looking really perfect. I see this little hole, I'm just gonna, I don't think it's serious. I'm gonna check if it's wide enough. Just about, I just need a little bit more and I think I'm gonna do that at the edges now. Because the edges are always a little bit thicker. Okay, I'm just gonna move it around here a little bit to make sure it's not sticking. And I'll grab my ruler. It's half a centimeter, so for me that's perfect. Gonna do my rolling trick again. Let's pull it here so you can see it. Remove any flour if there's a lot of it. Okay, this is looking good. I'm gonna bring my tart mold over here and there we go. So this is much wider. This is much easier to handle than the rings that I've showed you before. So I'm just really gently pulling it into place, going all around. It's good to take your time with this. Feel your dough. Of course, try to work in a cold kitchen. This will make your life much, much easier. Okay, so this uh, pie mold has these uh, nice little waves here around so I'm just gonna make sure everything is in there all right good so what I'm gonna do is just cut a little bit right now because I just want to see it more clearly to see where I want to cut it before I put it in the fridge Okay, cookie material here or a smaller kind of tart. Okay, so there are two things that you can do now. You can just cut through this where you like. Or what I like to do a lot of times with these molds is just kind of fold this. Really just a little because it's going to affect the look because you're going to see this fold after you bake it. But... I think that's fine. And here, where I don't have enough of folding, I just kind of push it in a little bit. That's fine. I should have probably decided to do this folding before I cut it to make sure I have enough dough everywhere, but it's fine. I already feel the dough becoming much softer. So I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit. And you definitely don't have to do this part. You could have just gone over with the knife like we did with the other. I'm just showing you another method here. So this is very similar to the other folding that we did, I think, kind of the other one where we did it a bit like that and cut it as well. Okay, good. It's folded everywhere. It's looking good. Now I'm just going to secure everything in place and make sure it's kind of an equal width. Okay. 
okay and I might just bring my knife here anyway but definitely not necessary this is kind of like an impulse move let's see how it'll work out for me okay Okay, that is looking really good. I'm really happy with it. So um, I'm going to put some um, plastic wrap around it and then put it in my fridge. Uh, actually, I would put it in my freezer now, but I don't know about you guys, but I have a really tiny freezer. Or I, I did want to show you the bottom of it, but maybe I should first wrap it, so I think. Gonna wrap it like this. Oops. I'm extra gentle with it now because the edges here are rubber edges, so every time I give them a nudge. They also um, kind of fold my dough inside and I don't want that. Perfect. So this is really important because we don't want any water to come in here and uh, the refrigerator does have a lot of moisture. Okay, so let me try. Well, actually, I'm going to um, put this in the fridge and when it becomes colder, then I'm going to put it upside down because I feel it's a little bit wiggly now. So this is how you do it with a bigger tart mold. Um, of course, everyone has something different, so you can adjust to your own one. If you have any questions, you can send me a picture of it and I'll be happy to help. Good luck.